Now that we've done a leak down test, let's take a closer look at how our test results become a percentage of leak down and what this percentage means to our engine. Early in the previous video, we confirmed gauge accuracy and made the following observation. I've noticed a difference of about 5 psi between gauges on this tool. This is the first number we need to document, gauge accuracy. The next number we need to document are the results of cylinder number 1 testing. And the last number is going to be the results of cylinder number 2 testing. Using the instruction sheet included with the leak down test tool, it's easy to determine this is a low hour engine with little leakage. And that's true, both cylinders have about 10% leakage. But how did we arrive at the percentage of leakage? 70 divided by 80 equals 0 0.875 or 87.5%. This is the percentage of sealing. The percentage of leakage is 12.5%. Seventy-two divided by eighty equals zero point nine or ninety percent. This is the percentage of sealing. Easy math tells us we have ten percent leakage. But what about the gauge accuracy? Because our gauges are off by five psi, we can calculate this into the equation as well. By correcting for the five psi difference, cylinder number one becomes eighty seventy five, and cylinder number two becomes eighty seventy seven. We can use the same equation to calculate the exact percentage of leakage, and instead of ten to twelve percent leakage, we now have four to six percent leakage. Obviously, this isn't going to be the difference between teardown or return to service. A common question is why not just use hundred psi as the regulated pressure to make the calculation easier? There are two reasons. Using 100 psi operates the gauges at their maximum capacity, increasing the risk of damaging the gauges and losing accuracy. This is why it's important to close the regulator and release pressure at the end of each test. Thorough testing by other engine manufacturers and organizations indicates there is no accuracy gain by using more than 80 psi. Last but not least, what about the leak down test result chart? Leakage values of 40% or less do not require additional action and aren't likely to be the cause of a running fault. Leakage values of 50 to 80% suggest there is wear or other issues preventing good cylinder sealing, but major engine repairs may not be necessary to resolve. Remember, leak down testing doesn't generate the several hundred psi created by combustion, so the 60% leakage we identify during testing may be significantly less on a running engine. Leakage values of 80 to 100% suggest there is significant wear or other issues likely to cause running and performance problems. If the engine does start and run well, this suggests inaccurate leak down test results for any number of reasons, and it's best to repeat the test after the engine has been operated under normal load conditions.